guys welcome to DIY art plus so today I'm gonna show you step by step how to paint this painting if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you enjoy watching this video give a big thumbs up all right so let's start and you can also paint with me if you would like to all right so I'm using today 8 by 10 size of this canvas so it's 8 by 10 inches and it's a stretch canvas on a frame in case if you don't have this you can also paint the same thing on a paper or maybe on a watercolor paper or if you have a canvas paper all right and make sure you also have a cup of water and today i'm going to be using acrylic paint these are the color i'm using you can also use a different color if you want to so first white color I got this one from uh, Michaels I believe for maybe a couple years ago and I'm still using it <laughs> okay and then uh, this green color so you can read the exact the, uh, name on the bottle and this lighter bluish color yellow and brown and also this red and I'm also gonna be using this orange color for the starfish and please ignore the drawing on my canvas we can just paint over it right all right so these are the brushes that i'm gonna be using today um you can also read the number on the brush if you want to i mean uh you can i hope you can see that yes okay if you are using a bigger uh, canvas or painting on a bigger surface you can definitely use a bigger brush but this is the one that i'm gonna be using for mostly the background okay and then i'm also gonna be using this type of brush if you can see the bristles uh it's a slightly little different so i'm also gonna be using this one it's a small one okay and i also have this uh, kind of a brush now if you don't really need this kind of a brush if you have a flat brush you can also use that and a small round brush all right so now uh let's start painting okay so make sure you also have a paper towel so you can just uh, dry your brushes there okay so first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cover my whole canvas with just a little bit of uh, kind of a water so i'm just taking a little bit of water on my brush and trying to just kind of uh, bat the whole canvas so that when we paint it will be so much easy to spread the paint because as you can see the surface of our canvas it's kind of a little bit rough right and this water will really gonna help us to spread um the paint very easily now if you are painting on a paper you don't have to do this part so as you can see it's a little bit of shiny on wherever i applied if you miss some area that's okay all right so now i'm gonna work on the water area first for that i'm gonna create like a turquoise i'm sorry <laughs> turquoise shade okay so for that i'm using this lighter blue green now if you don't have this lighter blue you can also use just a plain blue but just take tiny little amount of blue okay and i'm just gonna mix everything together now i really want to make this color more lighter so i am taking a little bit more white here so just a tiny bit of uh, blue and green and some more white and uh I'm trying to make this video not too long so I am going to fast forward just some of the area I mean some of the part so that um, my video is not too long and it's easy to upload on uh, YouTube all right so uh, again I add some little bit more white here because I like I said I really like uh, this color to be more lighter all right so I'm just gonna apply this color on the top of the right area but before I do that I'm just gonna add the like a little border of uh, the ocean shore line and then i'm just going left to right and just filling everything there and there is no right no wrong trust me guys when you are adding that shore line because uh, the best part about using acrylic paint is if you don't like anything just let it dry and apply whatever color you like on top i'm also adding this color on the edges of my canvas so that when i like put this painting somewhere it's look like it, everything is all together so as you can see right here, I don't really like my line. So I'm just going back and forth on that line and I'm, I just make it straight. But later you'll see I am going to change the shape. Okay, so now I'm going to take just tiny, tiny little bit of uh, green here. As you can see, just like a teeny, teeny, tiny. And I'm just going to be using just the tip of my brush for the whole time and adding this kind of a wiggly line on uh, the blue area. 
and I'm barely touching my canvas. So I really want to make the top of uh, that water area slightly more darker. So I'm gonna add more green on the top and less green on the bottom area. And now to make uh, all the colors looks like it's nice and blended, all I'm gonna do is, I'm not cleaning brush, I'm not taking any more paint. All I'm doing is very lightly touching with the brush this time i'm using all the bristles and just applying that kind of a diagonal um, following the shape of that water so mine is like from top to bottom so something like that just lightly touching the canvas all right and i know this part looks a little bit trickier but as you do you're gonna uh figure out yourself to be to be honest okay so now i'm not gonna clean my brush we don't really have to now i'm gonna do the same thing with blue color so here i'm just gonna take like tiny again tiny bit of blue and just like i did with my green i'm gonna repeat the same thing very uh lightly touching on my canvas with just the tip of my brush and adding this kind of a wiggly line and adding more blue on the top and less blue on the bottom now this is completely up to you how dark how light you like uh, your water all right so i'm still adding some more on top and then uh, again I, we don't have to clean our brush we don't have to take any more paint okay so now if you feel like you have a whole lots of paint on your brush try not to like wash your brush just use a paper towel and just kind of uh, clean that extra paint on that okay and again i'm lightly touching my canvas and uh, i'm not pressing very hard on canvas just slightly touching and then again following the shape where uh i added this line so you can see me i'm sorry guys i'm very bad at explaining but you can see what i'm doing here okay so now here i'm all done with the green and blue now uh, again i feel like i have a whole lots of paint so i'm just kind of uh, cleaning that on a uh, paper here okay and um now i'm gonna repeat the same thing one more time this time i'm gonna be using white okay now again uh like i always like to say this uh you don't have to completely follow me this is your painting uh you can change it up a little bit if you really want more darker you can always add some more white i mean more uh green and blue and uh if you really like your water to be more lighter you can definitely use more white here Alright, so I know uh, it's almost the summertime, but not here uh, where I live. I mean, I'm in Michigan and still it's 60 right now. <laughs> Can you believe that? But I thought let's make some uh, summer painting. So, okay. So now here I'm all done with the white. Now I'm just kind of uh, blending everything all together, just like I did with uh, blue and green. Now, um, again, you can go back whichever color you want to uh, go back with maybe more blue green or maybe more white and after i'm done adding these colors i'm just kind of going back not taking any paint i'm just adding like a, that wiggly line wherever i feel like i have a more darker color or maybe more lighter color just so that there is some movement on uh on water here if that makes sense um so something like this i'm not really taking any paint just kind of moving the paint a little bit so something like that and for this i'm just using tip barely touching it with the tip of my brush like that all right so i was saying that i am making a summer painting here uh today but if you want me to paint something else or anything just let me know in the comment i love to try uh and painting new things so don't be shy just let me know in the comment down below and i would love to try uh painting something new all right make sure you clean your brush and we are actually done with the brush so you can just leave it in your water so i wasted like so many brushes before what i do is after i'm painting i thought okay i'll clean that later and i always forget to clean my brushes and it always dry out and uh, and then i just have to throw that right so uh if you're using acrylic paint just clean your brushes and then move on to the next part okay now i'm going to be using this small brush uh, now again if you don't have to use this kind of a brush if you don't have it you can also use uh, like a flat brush okay so now i'm going to work on the sand area first okay so for that i'm just going to take like wet the bristles a little bit and to create this color 
all you need is three colors orange little bit orange tiny bit of brown and whole lots of white okay and just mix it all together now this is completely up to you uh, if you want your sand darker you can add more brown if you want lighter I recommend to add just a tiny bit of brown more orange and more white and you will get the color that I am gonna create today okay so this happened to me all the time whenever I create this uh, this color especially uh, not with any other color just with this color when I, when whichever shade it looks like right now it's gonna be slightly darker than it's look like right now so try to create as light as you can and then it's gonna turn slightly darker I mean when the paint's gonna dry it's gonna look slightly darker than what it looks like right now and again uh, this happened to me mostly all the time just only with this color not with any other color i don't know why what's the reason all right so now uh you can definitely create that the sore line if you want to i'm just leaving that area right now because my blue is still wet so um but you can also make an outline if you want to very roughly here i'm also like just adding very roughly outline here and then i'm just gonna fill everything on the bottom then and again i'm just gonna fast forward this part a little bit because uh, my video is gonna be very very long and uh it take like three to four hours to upload it on my youtube so uh that's why i like to make as small as uh, i mean as uh, short as uh, i can but uh, i really don't want to like skip any part so that's why i'm just kind of fast forwarding a little bit here but if you are still working after i'm done just pause the video and just start again whenever you are done all right so i also covered that uh, sore line area too okay so for the next part we don't have to let this color dry so let's move on to the next part which is adding just like a tiny bit of red because um, i don't know why but i really like this a little bit of red here so i'm not cleaning my brush here i'm just taking tiny tiny bit of red and adding just this kind of a tiny little dots okay and then i'm just going uh, on those uh, dots and just kind of spreading and blending with the background color just like that And I really really like this uh, little messy look on our sand uh, so I'm just gonna add like a little bit more red here all right so now I'm gonna repeat the same thing one more time uh, this time I'm gonna be using brown again taking tiny bit of brown on tip and just adding like a little dot and then just like doing x just making x on top of that so that it spread and blend this background color and the brown so something like that you'll see in a second all right so something like this i'm just kind of uh, creating that little x on top of that uh, brown if you are not comfortable doing that way you can also like dab 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 and i'm also gonna the, do uh, the same thing dots. using yellow so again just adding a little dot and then just spreading it with the spreading and blending with the background color Alright, so now I'm gonna move on to the next part. Let's clean our brush and also dry brush. Okay, this time we don't need, uh, we don't have to use like any water. Okay, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna show you like two ways. Uh, one is for the one who have this kind of a brush. Okay, and if you don't have this kind of a brush, I will show you how to use the other brush. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with this brush. Um, make sure you wet the bristles a little bit and then uh, dry your brush 
okay make sure you don't have any water on your brush and um again if you have this kind of a brush and uh if you want to use that brush i will show you how to do that because uh i recommend to use the brush that i'm using right now if you have that but if you don't uh you can also use that smooth brush okay so for this i'm just taking a little bit of white like that just on a tip and then putting on side of my plate and just making like a uh, spreading that paint by dabbing it so something like that so that we don't have a big bulk of a uh, big bunch of okay i don't know what i'm saying okay um so just to make sure you don't have whole lots of paint on your brush just dab it on your plate and then dab dab the same thing same way on the sore line so something like that just take a little paint every time and then dab it on the side of a plate first before you touch your canvas so i recommend to start with the very less color because if you think it's still too light you can always go back and make it darker right but if you already put too much paint on that area you have to like recreate everything the background and the top and everything so that's why i always like to like start with the very last paint here and i just step back a little bit look it from a little bit far or maybe take a little break i get more idea if you like to if i like to make it more darker i always uh, just add some more paint on top all right so now i'm going to show you almost the same way with this kind of a brush okay again make sure you don't have any paint on your brush make sure it's nice uh, your bristles are separated from each other it's not touching with each other okay so i'm gonna do the same thing actually take a little paint dabbing it on the side of my plate first and then i'm gonna dab it on the canvas now you will get slightly a little bit different look with this kind of a brush only because this front this brush is a little bit flat and the other brush i was using uh the bristles are not flat right uh so you will get slightly a little bit look a little bit different look but uh you still gonna get the look of that sore line i mean the foamy thing okay and um but i'm gonna switch my brush to other one because i have that so i'm gonna use that all right so i'm just gonna go one more time on that same line again uh just because i really want that era to be more brighter more white so i'm just gonna go over that line one more time all right so now i know for me it's uh very hard to explain you guys but you can see that i'm also applying a little bit of now white uh on the blue area too so something like this and i'm just kind of adding like a little c kind of a like long c kind of a shape i don't know if uh, that makes sense but um so that it looks like that uh the views is coming so i don't know again if that makes sense uh to you guys how it looked like but thank you so much for bearing uh with me and <laughs> uh, painting with me and uh listening my weird english i guess but thank you so much guys for supporting my small little uh youtube channel here i really appreciate it all right so here i'm all done with uh, adding the waves and the foam and everything now i'm gonna do the same thing with the same brush so i clean my brush and i'm taking brown this time and again i'm doing the same thing taking a little bit paint and then uh 
dabbing it on my plate and I still feel like I have whole lots of water there so that's why I clean my brush again okay and then I'm taking my paint again and I'm gonna repeat that dabbing thing uh, on the sand this time just so that it looks a little bit messier because I don't really like that plain look but this time I'm not gonna go too crazy I'm just adding like a little dot everywhere first and then when I feel like I don't have too much paint left on my brush I'm gonna go back on that uh, on those dots and just kind of spreading that a little bit and uh, just to make it slightly lighter but something like this I'm just like dabbing 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 and uh, creating a little messy look all right so now I'm gonna take a little break I'm just gonna let everything dry and I will be back all right so i let it dry for about like a half hour and then uh, now i'm gonna start adding my sandals so for that i'm using this uh, chalk now if you don't have a chalk you can also use a pencil uh, try not to make your if you're using a pencil try not to make your pencil outline very dark you can just lightly touch your canvas just to just so that you can see that line and then uh, after you are done if you don't like it you can also erase that if you have a lighter okay i'm just trying to measure uh how big how like small i really want to make my sandals so what i'm doing is making the oval shape first so something like this i'm just trying to make like an oval shape i hope you can see that so this is gonna be for the top part and then just a little circle for the bottom so something like that oval on the top and just a little circle on the bottom and i also connect the both shape something like that all right so uh, again i'm trying to measure and trying to make my sandal same size as uh, i can uh, it doesn't have to be same size it's okay if it's like a little bit bigger or smaller it's okay this is for fun right um we don't we, we don't have to paint this painting so perfect okay so i try to make the same shape of uh, one more time and uh, and uh, just because i'm using a chalk i can erase this line very easily with my hand but if you are using a pencil and if your pencil line is slightly lighter you can definitely use your erasers uh, again make sure your paint is completely dry otherwise you're just gonna ruin your painting right okay so now uh this part is very important uh try not to skip this part I'm using this small brush and I am gonna cover both of my sandals using just a plain white now whatever color you want to use for your sandal you can definitely use it but I recommend to go over I mean go over uh, on everywhere on your sandal with white first whatever color you want to use after that go for it you can do that but make sure you apply a little bit white because what's gonna happen is um, if you don't apply this white um, you will have to do like two to three layers of uh, the of the whatever color you want to use let's say you want to use red here I'm sure you're gonna need at least like three layers to be honest because of uh, the other color that we have in the background you are gonna see that color a lot so if you apply this white um you only have to go one time with the red or whichever color you want to use so my neighbor's kids are playing outside so you i'm sure gonna hear their sound here uh <laughs> they're so cute okay so um as you can see here i'm just uh adding like very thin layer of white you don't need whole uh chunk of white here just uh, just a little bit of a uh, touch of white here it's gonna make a huge difference all right so as you can see i did the whole outline first and then fill the inside it will be so much easier if you also do that way so my one sandal is top of the other sandal so i'm just gonna make that i'm gonna like go back on one more time on that area just so that i can see the like outline okay so now i'm gonna move on to my next part so now if you want to let your white dry you can i don't really have to because i'm gonna be using like a light blue color now you can use of, of course any other color if you want to 
but I'm using uh, light blue so I'm gonna create that color using little bit of blue and more white and I'm just gonna mix it all together and again I'm just gonna like go over my sandal and um, just apply this blue here oh how about yellow sandal I didn't think about that before um, but yeah maybe next time uh, I think yellow will look good on uh, this kind of background so try maybe a yellow color for your sandal okay so, um, so now uh, I'm gonna add the side of the sandal uh, I don't know what that uh, area call so for that I'm just gonna be using just a plain blue here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do the outline on the left side first because that part is gonna be very darker and also i'm trying to make that area slightly a little bit thicker and for this i'm just using tip of my brush for the whole time i'm sorry guys i have to just fast forward this part a little bit um but again i'm just using that tip of my brush and um adding uh just outline you can say all right so now we have to let this whole thing dry and uh in the meantime we can just move on to our next part okay so for that we gonna be using small brush and the orange color so i'm gonna add my star face and that's my favorite part okay so uh let me show you very easy way to add your starfish okay so first think of like a star and i'm just gonna add like a this kind of a line to create the star shape one on the top two on the side and two on the bottom so something like that all right and then i'm just gonna think of like a triangle shape okay and uh, i'm gonna go on that on that line one more time and on each line i'm gonna create the triangle shape so something like that okay i'm just adding one line on the left and one line on the right so that's gonna make a triangle right okay so i'm gonna repeat the same thing i'm gonna add like a couple more starfish here doing the same thing okay, so just to show you i make the line very straight for my first starfish for this one right here i'm making my uh, line slightly a little bit curved like that but you don't really have to do that just uh, follow the first starfish that i show you if you want to All right, so now I'm gonna clean my brush and then I'm gonna work on shadows. Okay, so for that, I'm using that same small brush and now let me show you a trick. Take a tiny amount of brown, put it side of, on the uh, side of your plate. Okay, and then take like four to five or maybe six drop of water, mix it all together. Okay, just a tiny bit of paint and hold lots of water. It's almost like a dripping uh, watery brown paint that I'm using. All right, so all I'm doing is just doing the outline. So I'm just going around my star face, so something like that. So um, just take like a tiny bit of paint and uh, just do like a one layer right now. Whenever you feel it's still like too lighter, you can always go back and make it more darker. But try not to use just a plain uh, paint here otherwise it will be too dark okay so um, again my light is coming from uh, right to left so I'm just gonna add like a tiny bit of uh, this color on the right side and I'm really adding uh, almost like very thick line on uh, the left side okay so now i'm gonna start adding some details uh for that we have to clean our brush and this time i'm gonna be using yellow and then all i'm gonna do is starting from the center and adding dots like this on each line so on the center of each line i'm gonna add this kind of a blur dots so let's do the same thing for all of our starfish And then I'm also gonna add this yellow on the edges of uh, the whole starface, so something like this. All 
all right so now i'm gonna add some more dots but uh for that i'm gonna create like a lighter orange color i mean sorry darker orange color so here i'm taking a little bit of orange and just like a tiny little bit uh, of like red color and mixing it all together okay and then uh, i'm just gonna add this red between uh the space i have left around the yellow dots um um again i'm sorry i don't know how to even explain you this part but this is gonna be the corner area of uh, the starfish <laughs> uh okay so yeah something like that okay so now uh i feel like the yellow is not too bright uh you can definitely use a brighter yellow if you want to i just don't have it so i'm just gonna use that one more time and going over my yellow dots one more time all right, so now I'm gonna add some white. So I clean my brush and just using tiny bit of white. Uh, and again, my light is coming from right to left. So I'm just gonna mostly add my white on the top of my star face. So just adding like a tiny little dot on mostly the right area. All right, so I know this part is gonna take a little longer. So just pause this video and just start again when we are done with that part. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to my sandal. Okay, so uh, I'm just gonna add like some uh, lines, uh, strips, uh, using lighter pink color, like lighter uh, this color. So for this, I'm just uh, using red and a little bit white and mixing all together. And again, this is the part uh, is also gonna take a little time. So you can take your time with this part. I'm just gonna fast forward this part a little bit. And all I'm doing is adding this kind of a line on both of my sandal. And uh, I'm using my small brush, the number zero size brush. And that's why I am just pressing very hard to get even line every time. So if you also use a small brush, uh, just press it very hard and you will get all of your line almost like an even size but again this is for fun right we don't need any perfect line here this is only for fun there is no right no wrong again uh, i'm i just like to say that because um, i don't know it just uh, i'm just painting it for fun right no one's gonna judge you here all right, now I'm gonna use some uh, white. So I started doing this kind of a dot, but I don't really like it. So uh, I'm just adding a white line, uh, like something like that. So one on the top of the red and one on the bottom of the, of the red. Uh, you can also do different kind of a pattern if you want to. I just uh, keep it very simple here, just a straight line, but maybe you can add some like polka dots, uh, you can also add um, like a leaf shape that's very popular right now but uh, just saying or maybe a flower or maybe a seashell shape I know that's gonna be a little bit trickier but um, but I like the polka dots idea try polka dots but recently I go to the shopping center near me and they have like a whole bunch of uh, sandals with leaf shape all different kind of a leaf i don't even have i don't know i didn't even take a picture i don't know why i just take picture of everything <laughs> um but yeah i don't know why and i really want to go to beach so but i can right now right so uh that's why i create i make this painting i don't know it was a uh, fun painting this uh, little painting and um uh, this took me about like a uh, like an hour but um here i have to just fast forward on uh, this uh, video so that it's gonna be slightly a little bit short all right so now i'm done finally and i'm gonna move on to the next part okay all right so for this part you can definitely use a different color if you want to i am just gonna use a white color just in case if i make a mistake i can easily um apply whatever color that is in the background okay so now i'm gonna add the stripes uh, on the both uh right here i'm sorry guys i don't know what it's called but uh first i'm gonna figure out where i'm gonna start from so i'm just gonna add like a little dot there and then um i'm trying to see what shape i really want to create but this is the shape that i kind of uh, add there 
and try to do the same thing on the other side doesn't have to be too perfect i mean doesn't have to be both lines doesn't have to be same remember that there is nothing perfect right so i try to add this kind of a line and i also repeat the same thing for my other one all right so now i'm done adding my white now i'm gonna add the color that i want to add on that area so if you already use a different color you can maybe just uh, skip some of the this part all i'm doing is creating that turquoisey color a little bit and uh, if you don't have this color all you need is a um, little bit blue a little bit green and a whole bunch of white and mix it all together and then i just go over on that white just one time okay so now i'm gonna add some shadows for my sandal too right so for that i'm using that very thin brown paint so if you don't have it just take tiny bit of uh, brown paint and whole bunch of water there mix it all together and then um, my light is coming again from right to left so i'm really gonna add like a uh, this brown mostly on uh the left side okay so whenever you i'm sorry uh, whenever you feel like you apply too much of paint just use your finger and just wipe it and this is gonna make it more lighter and uh this is only gonna work when you use this uh, lighter uh i mean this watery brown paint if you use just a plain paint uh this part is uh, gonna be too dark okay so um again i'm just going one time on uh on the left side and then i'm just kindly uh, like using a finger to make it lighter and i'm also gonna add the stripe uh, shadow on that area too but yeah all right so now you can definitely take a little break and let everything dry but i don't have any patience so here i'm just gonna add my flower and uh just because my that turquoise area is still bad you you also gonna see a little bit of that color on my white area so all i did is just kind of add like five petals so five dots okay and then um i'm just gonna use like a yellow color and just making a little dot in the center okay so i feel like the sand area is still kind of a little empty i don't know why so that's why i'm just adding a tiny little white dot first so some of them are like bigger dots some of them are like tiny 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 ones okay and then i just uh, clean my brush and um here i'm just using a little bit of that thinner brown paint and going around that white and just adding like a little outline so you can say it's a shadow of that thing uh, even if it's a rock you can definitely uh, do the same thing with the brown color if you want to or maybe use any other different color but i use a white for the rock and also add a tiny little dot of brown and that's the last thing don't forget to sign if you want to okay and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed painting with me and if you do give a thumbs up to this video and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you want to see me uh painting something else uh, you want me to try something else just leave a comment down below and i would love to try that and uh I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video and also thank you thank you thank you so much for supporting my small youtube channel i will see you next time for another painting or maybe a diy all right thank you bye